This is the OpenBOM dashboard. Uh, let's have a look around. Let's start with the three things you can import currently into OpenBOM. You can import bill of material spreadsheets, you can import parts catalogs as spreadsheets, and you can also import directly from Fusion 360. If you choose to create a bomb, you can go ahead and do so by clicking create. You can create a new bomb, or you can also create a new part catalog. On the left of the dashboard, you can gain quick access to bill of materials, part catalogs, order bombs, and other administration tools. If you're a CAD user, you can export your bill of materials from your favorite CAD system directly into OpenBOM. You can click the integrations button and download the appropriate plugin to your favorite CAD system and uh, you'll be able then to work directly with bill of materials in OpenBOM. Let's transition now to seeing some bill of materials in the dashboard and I'll walk you through some of the operations you can perform. When you highlight your bomb in the dashboard, you can perform various operations. These include creating a multi-level bomb view, you can edit the name of the bomb, you can share the bomb, you can create a copy of the bomb, you can put the bomb in the trash, deleting it, or you can place it in a folder. Let's now transition and review a bill of materials. OpenBOM provides you complete flexibility for managing your bill of materials. This includes adding items, as well as properties of many different types. These include thumbnail images, check marks, text-based, numeric-based, also lists, external references to sources outside of your bomb that links them directly to it, and so on. You can also arrange properties in any order you like within your bomb. For numeric properties, you can also create formulas to perform simple math operations. At any moment in time or milestone, you can create an immutable bomb snapshot or revision, which you can toggle between. These are all read-only, creating an audit trail of where your bomb was at any given point in time. In addition to revisions, OpenBOM automatically captures a history of all changes to your build of materials. These include not only the time, but what was added and by whom. You can also create and download an Excel-based change report which captures the changes between any two given bomb revisions that you've created. Let's now transition to parts catalog or inventories. You can assign a part catalog or inventory to your bomb connecting or attaching that part catalog to a bomb so you can assign parts or components directly from that inventory. A few helpful tools are also included, such as being able to filter bombs. You can configure or add specific properties from your inventory to your bill of materials. You can also change the property order as well as creating custom templates uh, that you can reuse for creating other bombs. You can also control and manage what properties are viewed within a bill of materials. This is helpful if your bomb contains many, many properties. You can configure exactly what properties will appear in your bomb by clicking View Configuration and then selecting which of the properties you'd like to view, or inventory items as well. Whether or not a property is visible in your bomb, you can always view all the values for all the properties for any given item in your bomb in the info panel. You can also export your bill of materials from OpenBOM. You're able to manage what specific properties you export as well as maintaining certain helpful configurations. And of course you can export to Excel, CSV, and PDF file formats. OpenBOM also tracks the relationship between bombs. Click on where used to determine which bombs use the same part number. You can access these bombs directly by clicking on any of these. Clicking on Composed Of will take you directly to the subassembly that may be referenced in your bomb. When a bill of material is ready, you can go ahead and release it and generate production batches from it. Production batches use the inventories 
or the CAT parts catalog you have already assigned to this bill of material. Once a production batch is created, an order bomb is automatically generated that gives you the quantity required and the quantity gaps calculated from the assigned inventory. You can modify and share an order bomb as required. You can enable a roll-up that calculates the sum of properties with numeric values. You can share your bomb with others and collaborate with them in real time. Everyone would be on the same bomb. All changes are captured instantly as well as kept as part of the history of all the changes that we talked about a little earlier. A cool feature I'll mention now is that you can create reference link to file storage tools such as Google Drive and Dropbox. These are just some of the many features and functionalities available to you with OpenBOM. Visit our website to learn more.